Hey guys, welcome back to Crown Geek. This is Shabazz. So in this video, we will be talking how to boost dual core performance on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 and how you can boost your Windows laptop or desktop. So this will be applicable for Windows 10 and Windows 11, both the computers. And I'm going to share about eight to nine methods that you need to apply on this. Few of them will be for the software upgrade and you also need to upgrade your hardware. So I will be starting from the software and just follow the instructions properly. But if you are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe to get all such related videos. So number one will be that you have to increase your virtual RAM. Now in your laptop, if you have four gigabyte, two gigabyte or eight gigabyte of RAM, so it's not possible or it's very complicated to extend or upgrade the RAM, okay? like you can increase a little bit of virtual RAM that will be a kind of RAM but that will be definitely boosting the speed and if you're using the desktop you can of course uh, go and upgrade your computer with some extra gigabyte of RAM okay so how you can upgrade the how you can just increase the virtual RAM uh, you just need to go to your Windows PC and just go with this PC icon here just make a right click and then choose properties now in this box on the very right hand side you will be getting advanced system settings so if you're on windows 11 you can either search here or in the search box wherever you see that so click advanced system settings and then it will come to this box that shows performance so click on settings then click on advanced again and here you will find the virtual memory so click on change now in your case it might be set to automatically manage this option so what you have to do uncheck this and then check on custom size now here in the initial size you have to take the recommended that is 3092 MB in my case so in on your computer whatever it is just take this recommended megabyte and just type here and now in the maximum size you just need to take somewhere that is three times of this memory so I think if I take it it would be around 4000 so you can just take 4000 it should not be exact okay it's not mandatory you can take somewhere any figure that is around to the three time of this initial size once done click on set then click on OK now you need to make sure that you once you apply the setting this notification should come up if this is not coming up it means the setting you have made is not proper so try changing the value now click on ok and then click on apply and then click on ok ok again now it asks you to restart but we can go with restart later after applying all the settings so i click restart later and now we go with number two the custom made some changes in custom performance so again go to advanced system settings advanced then settings now here it says let windows choose what best for my computer so i would recommend that you should go with adjust for best performance click on this now here you just need to check few options and rest you can keep uncheck so go with this first one that says animate controls add elements inside windows and then you can take show thumbnails instead of icons and then show windows content while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts and again take the smooth scroll list boxes only four four or five of this option need to be checked then click on apply and then on ok so we are all done with this part now we have to go and clock the cpu so probably uh, while you know using you might have a processor that can be like uh, i3 and i5 that support four processor that comes with four processor or maybe two so you just need to enable all of all of them so that they can be on work and they can just uh, give more space 
while you're using any work, doing anything. So you just need to utilize all these processor. So how you can do that, you just need to close everything and press Windows and R key and type msconfig. Now here click on boot and then on advanced options. Now you can see it says number of processors. So you need to check this option and by default it's been set to 1 so you have to select to 4. So now the difference will be that it will be using all the 4 processor and so far only one processor was in the work. So once you are done click on OK, Apply, OK. Now again we will not choose exit, uh, sorry we will not choose restart because we have to apply all the settings first. So click exit without restart. So now we also need to make some changes in the power plan of Windows 10 and Windows 11. So go to the search box on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. Just type edit power plan and choose this option. Now here click change advanced power settings. And now here what you have to do is just need to look for processor power management. So make a double click on it. Now here you'll see a few settings. Minimum processor state. So what you have to do, you just need to choose on battery 5% it says and plugged in 5%. So you need to make both of them 100. And again on system cooling policy. It says passive and active so that's good. And in the maximum, it's also 100 and 100. Okay. Now, in case if say, this 100 doesn't work for you, you can also try 0 and 0. Okay. Now it's done. Click on apply and then click on OK. So we are all set with the clocking of processor. And now we need to make some changes with the hard drive. So hard drive, make sure that you have enough space. Like if I go to my C drive, so you can see right now it says 12.5 gigabyte free but some cases you might see a red line instead of blue and that says uh, like few MB remaining or two or three mega gigabyte of remaining. So in that case you meet, need to make sure that you have extra space. If almost all the space has been occupied this will be another problem. So number one there is only one way that you can defrag your drive and you can use the defragmentation. You can also extra some space by cleaning the like the recycle bin and you can clean the temp and the post and temp files. Let me show you something that you can do. Press Windows and R just type temp. Delete all these files. Continue. Similarly, you can use a tool a uh, software called CCleaner, download it, run it and that will definitely clean all the junk and it will extra some space. And as I said that you also need to go with the defragmentation, just, uh, just defrag your drive so that it can be compressed and you can get more space. So now we are all done with the software part. Now what you have to do is just you need to upgrade your hard drive. So if you are using, still using the hard drive, then you need to upgrade to SSD. That is solid state drive. Yes. So this is much faster, give you a great performance. And without doing anything, if you just switch to SSD, you will see that the computer is working absolutely smoother and fine. And if you have the dual boot processor, you are using the dual operating system, then this will be also boosting the speed for your dual core performance. Okay. So you can try that as well. And now what you have to do with the BIOS setting, you need to enable SVM mode. Okay. If you're using the AMD processor, then you have to enable SVM mode from BIOS. And if you're using the Intel processor, then you need to enable uh, virtualization technology. So you can go on the BIOS and just check the settings and how you need to enable this. And once you are done with everything, just restart the computer and you will find the difference. I can guarantee that you will find the difference. So if you like the video guys, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next session. Bye bye.